Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time here, thanks for coming back. So today I am going to be doing three looks with the Nomad Cosmetics Monteverde Cloud Forest Palette. This is their newest palette that they just launched maybe about a week or two ago. And I was able to create three looks with the palette, which you are going to see today. This palette is stunning. So first of all, they kill it with the packaging every time. We have this outer carton with the cutouts of the animals, so adorable. And on the back, it has the different shades and a little blurb about the palette. You open up the palette and slide out the palette this way, out. And here is the palette, stunning super bright and colorful, really fun for summertime. I know we're heading into fall, but it's still summertime. But there's also a lot of greens, a lot of deep dark shades that you can make more fall appropriate, but you can wear color any time of the year. Nobody should be able to tell you what to wear when, right? If you're not familiar with Nomad Cosmetics, they base their palettes on different destinations around the world. And this one is based on the Bosque Nuboso de Monteverde, which is the Monteverde Cloud Forest in Costa Rica. This was designed on location, trekking in the Monteverde Cloud Forest, proud supporter of Monteverde Cloud Forest Preserve. This was manufactured in China. Nomad Cosmetics is based out of Texas. This is a vegan and cruelty-free palette. It does have a 12 month shelf life. So this palette does have 12 matte shades and eight, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, and six shimmer shades. <laughs> and it does retail for $44. A lot of creators do have discount codes with Nomad Cosmetics, which I'm pretty sure you can use on this palette. I don't personally have one, but a lot of creators do. And I did purchase this palette myself. So what you are looking at is look number three, you're getting a little preview. I will link this palette and Nomad Cosmetics website down in the description box below if you are interested. And while you're watching this, if you do enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. And I would love for you to subscribe before you leave if you love eyeshadow content. Let's get to look number one. Okay, I am super excited to be creating my first look with the Monteverde Cloud Forest palette from Nomad. So excited. Calm down. It just looks so gorgeously colorful and yummy and summery and I am here for it. So I really want to do something green today and I want to do a halo eye because I haven't done one in a while and why not? Let's do it. The greens are calling to me. As you're watching this, I have not even swatched this palette yet because the pan embossings are so beautiful. I don't even want to touch it, but I will. I've already primed my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion Anti-Aging, and I'm gonna first go in with the shade Green Vine Snake over here. This like bright green matte shade. And I'm gonna just pick this up on a, like a slightly tapered blending brush. And I'm gonna place this all through my crease. That is a gorgeous shade and it shows up absolutely perfectly pigmented. It was incredibly easy to work with. So far, so good. Okay, next up, I'm gonna go in with the shade Green Spiny Lizard, this like grass green. And I'm gonna place this in the inner and outer corner and also a little bit through the crease as well. Stunning, easy, wonderful. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go in the darkest shade that I'm going to use, which is Glass Wings. It's like deep, dark, hunter green. And I'm gonna place this in my inner and outer corner. And I have like a smaller, little tiny unearthly brush. Uh, pretty effortless. I'm gonna take the NYX Glitter Primer because I use that under every shimmer that I ever use, let's be real. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna place that in the center where the blank space is. So I am going to use the shade Wildlife Wonderland, this like lime green metallic, I'm so excited. I'm usually a finger metallic applier. -er. No. I usually apply my metallics with a finger, so I'm gonna start 
like that. Oh gosh, it feels like so creamy smooth, but still really sparkly. So I'm gonna place that in the center. Gorge. Oh my goodness. Wow. Absolutely stunning. That looks gorgeous. Wow, I love that. I'm gonna go back in with that deepest green glass wings and I'm just going to kind of blend between the metallic and the mattes a little bit more. I think I am going to halo the bottom as well. I don't always do that, but I think it's gonna look really cool with the green. I'm gonna go in with this tiny little brush and I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade glass wings. Actually, I'm not gonna use this brush, hold on. I'm gonna go in with this little tiny brush and glass wings. I'm gonna go on the inner and outer corner of my lower lash line. I'm gonna take this tiny little pencil brush and I'm gonna go into green spiny lizard and I'm just going to go right underneath that dark green shade and blend those out. And then I'm gonna take a fluffier brush and I'm gonna go into green vine snake, that very first matte that we used. And I'm also gonna add that underneath the colors on my lower lash line. I'm literally at the point where I have no clean brushes left. So we're gonna try this little angled brush. It's all I've got with the Wildlife Wonderland, that green metallic. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm actually gonna spray it just because it's on my lower lash line. I'm gonna try to avoid any kind of fallout that may happen or avoid as much as I can. And I'm gonna place this right in that empty space on the lower lash line. I love how this came out. So I am gonna go off camera. I'm gonna put on liner, lashes, something on my lips, and I will come back and show you the final look. Okay, I am back. I finished up my eyes. I put on some Ardell Wispies in my waterline. I actually mixed two eyeliners, kind of accidentally creating the shade that I wanted in the end. <laughs> I originally put on the Flower Beauty Forever Wear Eyeliner. This is like a very bright cream, very pigmented pencil eyeliner. And when I first put that in my waterline, I was like, eh, it looks a little bright. I wanted something really like, almost like a gr lighter green, which I don't have. But then I put on top of it, this NYX Epic Wear liner stick in the shade Intense Teal. And I think the combo of these ended up making a lighter green color, which is what I was going for. Perfect. In my inner corner, with this palette and what I wanted for today's look, I wanted like a bright inner corner highlight and I don't feel like anything in the palette really matched what I was looking for. So I just took out the Blend Bunny Primal Palette and I just used the matte white for my inner corner. And then on my lips, I put on the About Face Matte Lip Fix Pencil in the shade Cradled, my new favorite nude lip liner. Obsessed. Creamy, but very long wearing. And then I put on the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum in Apricot Glow. Everything else on my face, I'm gonna put in the description box below, okay? So check there if you're interested. I'm obsessed with this look. I love the Halo Eye and I love the greens. The shades were extremely easy to work with. Pigmented, but not overly pigmented to the point where it's like scary to use. Everything blended pretty effortlessly. I am obsessed. That's all I have to say about it. But we have two more looks with this palette that you're about to see. So I'm gonna stop talking and on to look number two. Wait, oh, don't mind my little curl over here. Okay, we're gonna go on to look number two with the Monteverde palette. I'm so excited. You guys know if you've been here before, I'm an orange gal. So I have to use this orange. And I'm going to try to make this the most neutral look. Whenever I do a three looks video, I do like to try to do a neutral look just to see the versatility of the palette. I don't feel like I'm really gonna get a super neutral look with this one, which is totally fine. It's not trying to be a neutral palette, but I'm thinking of starting with this orange just as like a pop of orange. And I'm looking for it to be a little more sheer. So I'm gonna take like a super fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into that shade called Jaguar. 
and I'm just gonna put this through the crease. I've already primed my eyes, by the way, with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So as you can see, even with a fluffy brush, that's pretty darn pigmented. Like if I wanted a much more punchy orange, I could use a denser brush and pack it on and it would be really intense, I have a feeling, because that's pretty pigmented. Is it me or is it like you never really know how badly you need to pluck your eyebrows until you start putting your makeup on and then they just pop out of nowhere, love that. So now I'm gonna take a denser blending brush. That took me like four tries to say. And now I'm gonna go into Two Toad Sloth, which is this dark brown. I'm gonna place this in the outer corner. It's almost like a greenish brown, because in the pan it looks brown, but on my eyes you can definitely see that green. Very pigmented, like holy moly. Now yesterday when I did my first look, I had done my face makeup first, which I never do, but in a time crunch, I will. And I usually don't like doing that because I tend to get fallout and it's harder to clean up obviously, but I didn't get any fallout from yesterday's look at all. And I'm not really getting any fallout here as well, which is nice. The mattes aren't like super powdery. There's a little bit of kickback in the pan, but they feel a lot more creamy than they do powdery. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Glitter Primer all over the lid as per usual. And now I'm gonna go into this gorgeous metallic shade called Cloud Canopy. It's like a dark green and it's gonna get real smoky today. It's like 8.30 in the morning. Great way to start the day. I'm gonna pick this, oh my gosh, this looks gorgeous. I'm gonna pick this up on my finger first and place it all over the lid. Really pretty. Stunning shade. That is gorgeous. I am just gonna pick that color up on a flat brush just to get a little more precise in my crease. I'm gonna go back in with that uh, two-toed sloth, the dark brown color, and I'm just gonna kind of blend between that and the metallic. Okay, I'm gonna go put on some winged liner. I think today winged liner's the vibe. And the rest of my makeup, and I will come back to do the lower lash line with you. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I just finished up the rest of my makeup, obviously. All the rest of the makeup that I just put on my face, I will put in the description box below if you're interested. Let's finish up the eyes. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy. I kinda just wanna take that brown two-toed sloth and just run this along the outer edge of my lower lash line. And for my waterline, I'm gonna use the Patrick Ta Precision Gel Liner in the shade Cream. This is more of like a subtle cream eyeliner. It's not super bright. I think this would also look gorgeous with like a neutral brown liner in the waterline, but surprisingly, I don't have one. The only brown liner that I have is like very warm, and I don't know that it would really go with this. And I'm gonna add some lower lash mascara on the three little lashes I have on my lower lash line. And then I mentioned in the first look, there's nothing in here for this look in particular that I feel like is gonna be a great inner corner highlight for what my preferences are. So something I really like to do if I don't have another eyeshadow palette like I'm traveling or something is I use my face highlight. I didn't use this on my face today because my skin tone's a little tan right now, but I just grabbed Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter and I'm gonna use this as my inner corner highlight. And this is finished look number two. What do you think? I love it. I would say that this is pretty darn neutral in my opinion. Like because I use that orange more as a sheer application, it looks just like a really soft transition color. And even though the shimmer on the lid is green, it's still like a neutrally kind of grungier green and not a bright green. So I feel like you can get a neutral look out of this palette, which I'm kind of surprised I didn't expect that. 
But yeah, I love this look. I'm excited to wear this for the rest of the day. And now we're gonna go on to look number three. Okay, this is take three of the third look that I'm going to do with the palette. I'm really excited. I wanna do something a little more colorful, a little out of my comfort zone today. That's what I'm thinking. So I wanna use like the pinks, the purples, maybe the yellow as well. We'll see what happens. So I have primed my eyes actually with the Rare Beauty Eye Primer this time, just because it has a slight tint to it, cancels out my veins on my eyes a little bit. So I think that's gonna help with the more colorful shades. So first I'm gonna go in with the shade Orchid, this like bright pink color. I'm gonna start with a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna put this all through my crease from inner to outer. Super pigmented. That's on a fluffy brush. That's crazy. I'm gonna take a semi-clean little blending brush and just blend the edges of that pink, just to soften it a little bit. with a slightly denser brush in that same color orchid and I'm going to concentrate this more in the crease I'm gonna go in with this purple shade called violet sab brewing I'm gonna put place this in my outer corner look how pigmented that is they didn't come here to play. I'm gonna take that little fluffy brush again and just blend where the purple and the pink meet. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna do something risky that is a little out of my comfort zone. <laughs> I'm actually gonna do an all matte look. I'm gonna take the yellow shade called Toucan, and I'm gonna put that on my lid and wrap it in my inner corner once I have the rest of my face makeup on. But first we're gonna start with it on the lid. I have this Morphe flat brush, the M167, and I'm gonna go into that yellow shade Toucan. I picked up the wrong shade, so I'm gonna switch brushes. I have another Morphe flat brush into Toucan. I'm gonna coat it pretty heavily, and I'm gonna start by pressing it. That's super pigmented, holy moly. Really fun. Now I'm just gonna blend between the two shades on the lid. Go back in with the yellow. blend over. Okay, I am going to go throw on some liner and lashes and the rest of my makeup and we will finish this look up. Okay, so I really like how this eye look is looking. I'm not gonna lie. It's very different for me, but I think it's kind of fun and tropical. So I'm gonna now go into that yellow shade again called Toucan. And I'm gonna put this in my inner corner and I'm actually gonna wrap it in my inner corner and it's like fairy dust. <laughs> in my inner corner and to the lower part of my lash line as well. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And then I'm not usually one for pink or red on my lower lash line because I feel like it makes me look sick. But I kind of am feeling like I wanna put that pink, which is orchid, on the outer part of my lower lash line. Okay, I think I'm gonna take the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Amethyst Hour for my lower lash line. Let's see how this looks. It actually looks kind of pink. Maybe it's mixing with that pink liner, which is good. I kind of wanted a pink liner that I don't really have one. Then I'm just gonna add some lower lash mascara. Okay. 
All right, so this is the final look. I'm gonna go do my hair, get my life together, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about my thoughts on the palette. By the way, everything else I have on my face, I will link down in the description box below if you're interested. I have to admit, I really enjoy this look a lot. I think it's so pretty. It's so different for me. I'm not really used to wearing this much like bright colors, but I think it's still kind of muted in a way. So I am loving it. Which look was your favorite? You'll have to let me know. <laughs> I like them all. I think they're all so different, but I really enjoyed using this palette. So let me just give you kind of my final thoughts about the palette. I absolutely love Nomad Cosmetics in general, but I feel like quality wise and formula wise, this is the best palette they've come out with, in my opinion, for my preferences. I feel like all of the mattes that I used are really creamy, really pigmented, but very easy to blend out. So they're not like, you know, super intimidating for color. I'm not scared that I'm going to completely screw up my look. They're really easy to use. I also love the metallics in here. They're just that super opaque, sparkly, shiny metallic. One of the metallics, I forget which one it was when I was swatching. Yeah, this one, Magical Mist over here. This one is more of like a topper shade. So it's not super, super opaque. It's slight, oh my gosh, it's so pretty though. It has a shift to it. I don't know that you're gonna be able to see it in this lighting, but so, so pretty. The metallics are gorgeous absolutely love, love this palette. The only downside for me personally is that it's very colorful and I don't tend to reach for super colorful palettes all the time. But like you saw in the second look, I could still create a neutral look. And then the other thing that I kind of came across quite a lot is that I don't feel like there is a great inner corner highlight shade for me personally, what I like, but it's really not that big a deal. I can easily reach into another palette or my face highlighter to get a highlight. <laughs> really not an issue for me. I have a thousand palettes, not quite, but getting there. So overall, I think this palette is absolutely gorgeous. I think that if you were interested in it, you would not be disappointed in the quality because I think it's wonderful. I love the theming and they just do a great job with their palettes in my opinion. Just, you can tell there's a lot of thought that goes into the palette. So I appreciate that. You will have to let me know, did you pick up the palette? Are you interested in the palette? Have you tried Nomad Cosmetics or have you never tried them before? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I always love hearing from you. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe before you leave. I do upload videos weekly, both beauty and fashion videos, and I would love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.